If you've signed up for the Oscilloscope Masters program, welcome. And what I'm gonna do now is just show you how to get the most out of the training that is on offer. You have lifetime access to all of the Oscilloscope courses on here. That's including all of the new lessons that we add and also any new uh, courses as well. Depending on uh, the option you chose, you may also have lifetime access to the um, online training and the community as well. So we mentioned how to get the most out of that in another video. If you go over to your dashboard, this is what you're going to see. And on the first glance, it's gonna look like there's not much there, but what you need to do is go to this bundled courses here. So all of the courses in the Oscilloscope Masters are located there. So you can see here that we've got um, Oscilloscope Diagnostics, PicoScope 6 for automotive, intro to Pico 7, We've got all of the live recordings, if you have the option, and another course on all the different oscilloscope equipment reviews that we've done as well. For the main part, the oscilloscope diagnostics course has all of the oscilloscope testing information in there. So it's got like the introduction to oscilloscopes, what is an oscilloscope, all of the specifications and settings, information about all the different probes you can get, and then we get onto all of the different diagnostic tests. So things like relative compression testing, CAN bus and networks, uh, injectors, pulse sensors, in cylinder pressure, all of those kind of things are in that course. So that course is not so much about the software itself, it's about the oscilloscope tests that you can do. And you can pretty much apply those tests to any oscilloscope. Of course, some things will be limited if you've got lower specification oscilloscopes or certain features that aren't available. PicoScope is our oscilloscope of choice. Um, the first course that we ever made is this one here, PicoScope 6 for automotive. That walks you through the complete software options of PicoScope 6 and shows you how to apply each of those features to automotive oscilloscope diagnostics. Of course, the oscilloscope is an electrical engineer's tool first, and there's lots of stuff in there that isn't so useful for uh, working on cars. So what we try and do is show you those features in there that are definitely worth giving a go. We're also just putting together the PicoScope 7 for automotive course, which is gonna be pretty much the same format as that whole course, but in the new software. Again, don't worry if you haven't got a PicoScope, there are still lots of great lessons in there to be had, which do also apply to other oscilloscopes too. Uh, the intro to PicoScope 7 course, we put that together to help people transition from PicoScope 6 to PicoScope 7. Actually, all of the features in PicoScope 7 used to be in Pico 6, but they've just rearranged it a little bit, so that's just to help you get started there. And the oscilloscope equipment course here, that has all of the kind of video review lessons that we've done on various oscilloscope equipment. So we've done a lot of reviews for the PicoScope uh, equipment, rock key equipment, you know, all these different kind of things. So actually, there's not all about the equipment, there's actually some good lessons in there as well, so it's worth taking a look at. And the live recording section, again, that's if you've taken that option, that will have all of the live recordings that we've ever done. Currently, there's 25 to 30 hours, maybe more, of previous recordings in there. Again, you know at Mechanic Mindset we love oscilloscopes. There's lots of good oscilloscope lessons in there too. So plenty to keep you busy. And as you watch these courses, so if we go into the oscilloscope diagnostics course now, we can start to complete and continue these lessons. So as you watch the lessons, complete and continue, and they will show up as a tick here. When we go back to the dashboard and go to the dashboard now, we can see now that the ongoing courses and enrolled courses is being filled in. So you just have to actually start watching these courses for your dashboard to be filled up. Hope you enjoy the training. We're always there in the community if you've got any questions or need any support with any of your oscilloscope diagnostics.